Hey guys, it's Peter from He Spoke, She Spoke. How are you doing, Topanga? Okay, in response to your video, um, Nicole needs friends, which kind of sounds like both of you need some friends, honestly. Uh, I really thought the video was kind of funny. First of all, the fact that I'm doing a collab channel as a gay man that is married with um, a Catholic girl that's recently graduated is kind of hilarious to me, but I also love it too. It's like, just kind of shows that you know, when you take down boundaries and stereotypes and limits and all that, you know, that people can be friends and just see that we're human no matter what. So I think that's something that's really cool that's come as a result of this collab channel. So, mm, kisses to you, Topanga. Anyway, um, probably the best advice I have as far as making friends, let me give you a little story. Okay. So about, let's see, 15 years ago, I was, I had just gotten a dog that was a Jack Russell Terrier and I was kenneling him. And so I took him to this kennel that somebody had recommended to me. And when I was in there, I was talking to this woman and she owned the kennel. And so she and I were talking about dogs and my dog was really aggressive. I had a Jack Russell. His name was Griffin. He bit me. He bit everybody. He was super aggressive. Anyway, so she and I started talking and she was like telling this funny story about, she was like in these, like this yoga outfit. And I was like, why are you dressed like that coming into work? And she was like, well, she was like, I just, um, she was like, I just, uh, my dog Boo Radley once in the video today. Anyway, she said, I just came from yoga. My, uh, one of my coworkers wanted me to come in to yoga with her. So I did it. And she was like, but I almost got kicked out of the class. And she was like doing all these like moves and showing me. And she, anyway, she was like, so funny. And like, I left there and I was like, I love this woman's energy. Like she makes me so happy. She makes me laugh. She makes me feel good about myself. So anyway, I am not somebody that gets somebody's phone number right away. I am not somebody that's like, give me your, te your number and I'll text you. And then like five minutes later, we're texting and instant friends. Now, Alex, my husband, he is like that. Like we can go out and he can come home with five new friends that he's texting and all that stuff like the next day. And we've got plans to do something with him two days later. I unfortunately am not like that. I wish I was. I wish I could be more like that because... I feel like I miss out on making friends with people that maybe I, you know, but the older that you get, you kind of like your circle gets smaller and smaller and you realize like maybe I don't have as much time for friends the way that I did, but I really do, you know, um, I'm really more into quality friends today instead of quantity friends. So anyway, I left the kennel. She gave me her number. She's like, you should stop by sometime, smoke a cigarette, whatever. So the next day I was driving home, she, her kennel was real close to where I lived and I stopped by there and I was like, um, just wanted to stop in. She's like, oh, I'm so glad you stopped by. And so I smoked a cigarette with her and we sat there and chatted. And like out of the blue, we started talking about, I, she looked familiar to me and we put two and two together. And at the time I was working in a treatment facility for teenagers. And she was like, oh my God, I sponsored like one of your, um, your patients. And so like, that was the connection that we had. And, you know, then we started going to meetings together and I started calling her all the time and she was like, you should come by my house and meet my husband. And I did. And it was all very, very uncomfortable to me. Anyway, flash forward 15 years. She's my very best friend in the entire world. A day doesn't go by that I don't talk to her. Um, you know, she's been there through several of my breakups and my mom's death. And she's just been the most wonderful person in my entire life. I don't know what I would do without her. Um, I sometimes don't even know how to express to her what an awesome person she is. But I took a chance, and I think that that, <laughs> look at me, Radley. I took a chance, and I think that that's the real lesson behind how to make friends, is that when you meet somebody, and they seem like somebody that you would want to do stuff with, or hang out with, or they're somebody that you just like their energy, or, you know, and when I say energy, I don't mean on some psycho bico level. I mean, like, you know, like, you just like how they make you feel, and so you want them more in your life. Like, they just seem real passionate about music, or art, or movies, or whatever, go after them, get their number, ask them to go do something. If they are the ones that are like, you know what, like you're coming on too strong recently, blah, 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 whatever. I recently was like trying to befriend this person I had met. And you know, he was like, Oh, you're coming on way too strong, too, too strong. Friendships should happen naturally and all that kind of stuff. And I don't believe that. I think you have to kind of work for friendships a little bit. So, you know, I just was kind of like, whatever, you know, obviously it's his loss. He doesn't want to be friends with me. So I find it really hard as a gay male to make friends with other gay males. I don't know why. Like, there's always, like, a really competitive kind of nature to it. I had really good gay friends years ago, and they all moved away. And so now I don't really have a lot of gay friends, and most of my friends are women. Um, I wish I did have some gay male friends, but, you know, it is what it is. 
I don't think if you go to church with the intention of making friends or if you go to a gym or if you go to class or whatever with the intention of making friends that you're going to be able to do that because I think that it just, you know, you have to, you're just going to come across people in the strangest places. If church is somewhere that you go and you feel comfortable, by all means, go to church and maybe you'll run into somebody that thinks the same way that you do and then that's somebody that you want to go out of your way to make a friend. I think it's really interesting in a world of like, you know, all of these like sexual websites, these matchmaking making websites and, you know, match.com and harmony.com that we don't have like a friendmaker.com, which I know sounds really corny, but is there anybody out there that really wouldn't like to have one really new good friend, you know, that you could like call and just like joke with and laugh with? So, Nicole, I totally feel you. Um, I think you just have to go out of your way when you meet somebody. You have to, you know, go out of your way to get their phone number and text them and call them and be like, hey, be my friend, be my friend. You know, even if it sounds corny. You know, I took that chance 15 years ago and this woman is now like my greatest friend that I ever have had in my entire life. So I can't even really remember my life before she came into it. Not even meet her until I was like 24 or 25. So, you know, you have to take chances in life. You have to create your own destiny, I think. And put the people in your life that you want in there. Kelly Catrone, um, who runs People's Revolution, wrote a book. And she called If You Have to Cry, Go Outside. And in it, she talks about creating a tribe around you of people that think like you do. And I think that's really, really important. So, anyway, best of luck. And I'm trying to think. I had a question for you, Topanga, that I wanted to ask you. But I don't know what I'm going to think now. People below should leave comments and questions about, you know, how you guys make friends and all that kind of stuff. And what suggestions do you guys have? So anyway, that's all I got. And if, you know, if you can't make a friend, you can always get a dog because you know what they say about dogs. All right. Peace out.